Catherine. He threw that harpoon so that it pierced the captain's heart. The sea, ageless, timeless. Unlike the dry land, she holds her secrets inviolate, jealously guarding them in her deeps. Oh, what story she could tell if she could speak. What mysteries she could reveal. What darkness and human despair she might dispel. Uh, my name is Essex, Winston Essex. And this is Mansfield House, a guest house. My home and a repository of things both old and new. Items with history and memories of people like you and I who have lingered here or are yet to come. And this, well, this is a curio of sorts. It's called the Concrete Captain. And it's similar to one which belongs to a couple I'm expecting shortly. A delightful and handsome couple celebrating an anniversary in the most unexpected way. you this one? No. Because I love you. I love you very much, Jane. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> what is it? It's a local tourist attraction. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, uh, what is it? <laughs> well, it says what it is right there. Concrete Captain. Certainly, thank you. It's a must for every visitor. Darling, that's just what I always wanted. <laughs> Navigator on this trip. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. There's a junction up ahead. Which way do we go? Ed, let's stay here. I thought you were worried about the itinerary. No, I want to stay here. Here? Where here? That first field on the left? No, there's a hotel. Oh, I'm delighted to hear it. Where? It's, it's just up there. What's it look like? This hotel of yours has got TV, room service, and swimming pool? I don't know. I I just know it's there. It's old, Ed. It's very old. And it's got a a ship's lantern and a ship's bell out outside the door. It's, it's just around this bend. 
How do you know that? You told me you'd never been there before. No, I never have been before. Oh, yes. Very, very picturesque. No, that's not the right one. It must be further ahead. No, oh, come on, That's Kate. right, that's right. There's a side road. Oh, what happened to that sweet, uncomplicated girl I wedded and bedded ten years ago today? Oh, Ed, I'm sorry, but I just have to see if it's there. You don't mind, do you? Look, that's it. That's the road right ahead. There's no hotel down there. Yes, I'm sure there is. Just a little further on. Try it, Ed, please. Captain Ahab rides again. Okay. No, this shouldn't take long. Season, place is closed. Oh no. Let me try. Well, it won't do you any good. Let me just try. All right. Hello. This is a very special occasion to us. It's it's our tenth anniversary. We really want to stay here. She wants to stay here. There are many places on the highway uh, that are open and newer. They have all the conveniences. Please. It's very important. Why is it so important? I don't know, Ed. I just know it is. Look, I'll make it worth your while. Oh, no, no, no. It ain't that. All right. Where is he? Up through the trees to the headland. Where's who? The captain. The concrete captain. Someone's come. You mean he's still in there? Buried in the heart of the concrete block are the mortal remains of Captain Jonathan Hawker. A hundred years he's been there. A hundred years with no resting place. Neither the warmth of soft earth nor the cold of deep waters suspended between the two elements for all time. I don't know about that down there. But he's certainly a must for all the tourists. I don't know. I thought he was kind of sweet. Did you notice he saluted you? No, he didn't. He saluted that. It says right here everyone is supposed to salute the concrete captain. Not to do so will show a great disrespect. So, when in Rome, do as the Rome. You ready?
I'll bring some towels. There's some bedding, too. I'll need to make up your bed for you. Well, that's all right. We'll do that. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your key. Can you smell anything? I'll take a bath. No, really. Can't you smell that? No. That's lavender. That's fresh lavender. stay at a hotel when I had to make my own bed. Oh, you're angry. Not angry, disturbed. You knew this place was here. Yes, I did. How, if you've never been here before? Because I'm a witch. Because I've got second sight. Oh, great. But I love you. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I do, I do. I love you, <laughs> Well, you're going to have to show me that. on those rocks out there. Most of the crew managed to get ashore safely, but he was the captain. He stayed till the end. And then it was too late for him. He tried to swim ashore, but he just couldn't manage it. The sea picked him up and swept him into those rocks. Nobody could reach him. After the storm was over, they tried to get his body out, but wedged too tight. So they poured concrete over it. Well, you've been doing a lot of reading about it. Oh, no, old Daniel told me. Listen. What? Listen, do you hear that? It's the concrete shifting up against the rocks. Or maybe the old man getting bored. Wants out. Oh, look, he might have to stay down here all night, but we sure don't. Let's go. What kind of a salute is that? He'd like that. Oh, he would, huh? to the captain's wife. Who? They used to live here. This was their home. The concrete captain? This was her room. Old Daniel told me it's almost exactly the same as when she lived here. Well, at least they put in new plumbing. Say, I forgot my toothpaste. Use mine. It's perfectly proper. We've been married 10 years. Love me, love my toothpaste. You're such a romantic. I'll show you what's romantic later.
you all the time, wasn't it? <laughs> What's the matter, darling? Oh. Well, one thing's for sure. Tomorrow, we're getting out of this place. Slight fever. Nothing really to worry about. Better stay in bed a couple of days and she'll be fine. Uh, we were thinking about moving on today. I'd advise against it. Keep her warm, a light diet. Well, I'll be back, Mr. Uh, Lucas. Mr. Lucas, uh, let her get some rest. Hmm? Oh, one other thing. I think she'll be more comfortable if you sleep in the next room for the time being. anniversary. <laughs> How do you feel? Rotten. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll get you some breakfast and bring it right back. Oh, 
Nanaru. Look up toward the headland. shot a harpoon into his heart. What are you talking about? They killed my husband. Yes? I've lived and worked around these parts all my life. You know about the legend, then? Eh, uh, you could say that. Well, tell me about it. She died here. Who died? The captain's wife. She came back down from the headlands after it happened, and she never left here. Not alive. Then she was there when it happened? She was up on the headland with the others. It was a terrible stormy night. She watched the captain get washed up between the rocks and get trapped there. He begged his harpoons to put him out of his agony. At first, the man refused, but the captain's cries of pain and the seas pounding at him, the harpoonist finally did what he was asked. He threw that harpoon so that it pierced the captain's heart. It's the handle of the harpoon that's sticking out of the block. The point of it is still buried in the captain. And his wife saw it all happen. She did. When she came back down here to their home, she wouldn't leave again. She knew he'd come looking for her. I knew it until the day she died. The wind's coming up. Never known it to be so bad this time of year. You told that story like you'd been there. The man who harpooned the captain was my grandfather. It was a hundred years ago. June 23rd, 1872. June 23rd? Yeah. That's our anniversary. You better go and see to your wife. Not good to leave her alone too long. Thanks.
I'll be right back. Don't be long yet. Well, no change, Mr. Lucas. Just the fever. Well, if there's anything else, I can't find it. What about that walk she took? I gave her a light sedative the last time I was here. But with that of the fever, she couldn't possibly have walked anywhere. Well, Doctor, is it... You think it'll be possible to leave soon? As soon as her temperature goes down? Thank you, Doctor.
How do you feel? Uh, weak as a kitten. <laughs> Try to get up just now, and I nearly fell flat on my face. Do you know her name was Catherine? Whose name? The captain's wife. Catherine Harker. I told Daniel not to talk to you about that legend. He didn't. And how did you know? She waited for him right here after he died. I know. Hey, did you see my mirror? Your what? That ivory mirror. It was broken. Oh. Walking? Yes. How's your missus today? Oh, well, she's fine, thanks. We'll be leaving today. Sorry to hear that. I didn't think you were too happy about us being here. Yeah, it was nice having company for a change. Be all right with the doctor for you to move you, missus? It'll have to be. It doesn't matter. He won't wait much longer. the doors. Kate. Why did you lock me in? I didn't want you wandering out alone again. Why not? Well, you remember what happened last time. You keep referring to that. I don't even know what happened. I only have your word for it. It did happen. And while you're on your feet, you can start packing. Packing? We're leaving today. No. Why not? If you feel you must go, then you go ahead, but I can't leave. He wouldn't know. Go on. He wouldn't? No. He wouldn't know where to find you. Okay. Oh! Oh! Jim! Jim! Oh, you what's happened? My legs. What? No, they, they just don't seem to work. I'll call the doctor. No, wait a second. No. You seem okay now. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, they're fine. Huh? Well, what do you think happened? I don't know. They probably just went to sleep. Well, it served a purpose anyway, didn't it? What purpose? Well, it seemed to me that you and I were fighting. Our first since our anniversary. <laughs> Well, let's make sure it's our last, huh? I don't think I could depend on my legs to intervene again. It's okay by me. Hey, where are you going? I'm going back to bed. Coming? Hmm. Well, that's the best offer I've had all day. That's the only offer you've had all day. What time is it? 4.30. 4 4.30. 4 oh. Where's the day going? Oh, you were sleeping like a baby. I didn't want to wake you. Well, you should have. It's going to be dark. No. And I don't like going around in the dark. We can leave tomorrow. Well, no. We're going to leave right now. Oh, 
happen again. Your legs? The same thing. Oh, it feels like some enormous weight. Oh. Well, it's all right now. Oh, Ed, you have to see the doctor. We're not leaving here until you do. Oh, yes, we are. You could kill somebody if you were driving. Then you can drive. No, Ed, I feel better, but not that much better. No, we're just going to stay here until the doctor sees you. Take care of something once and for all. Trapped in concrete, he'd never be able to rest easy. Never be able to rest easy.
so, after a hundred years, the sea reclaimed what was rightfully hers and reconciled the love almost forgotten. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Lucas should be checking in at any time. And I'd like to be on hand to meet them personally. Oh, uh, meanwhile, here are some scenes from our next adventure on Ghost Story. Paul, please. Look, you're not even thinking. You haven't slept. We've got to find some other way. Oh, no, 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 I thought about that. Too many things could happen. One, if we die. Daddy! Please listen, now try to understand. Understand? My daughter's life's at stake. Your daughter? What's she got to do with it? Your son's going to kill her. I told you, I don't have a son. Julie, this is my wife, Karen. 